What's going on, y'all? It's Claude. You're checking me out again at Mostly Healthy Food Reviews. <laughs> What's going on, y'all? What's going on? Woo! Love, love, love asking this question. But I got to ask it before we get started. <laughs> Did you miss me? Did you miss me? <laughs> well, by now, y'all know that I do it for the kids because I love watching kids giggle when I do something silly like that on camera. I also do it for the foodie fam. And to be honest, you could be anywhere else in the world right now, but you're here with me and I appreciate you guys from the bottom of the heart. So thank you for continuously rocking with me. Long story short, I'm hungry. What else is new? I'm actually gonna be in Middletown, Connecticut with this one to the guys I just pulled up. And as usual, I'm gonna drop the address in the bottom of the video. Now, with that being said, I've never, ever, ever been to this place called Noodles and Company. Never, 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 never. Just heard about it, to be honest with you. And I actually found out that they have a bunch of different Noodles and Companies all over the United States. They probably have one or two of them in your city. Your, your state, or you see where I'm going with this. Long story short, I came out today, about 45 minutes north of where I live, Bridgeport, Connecticut, to find out if Noodles & Company actually has some of the best food around, especially some of the, the, the more healthy food persuasions. I'm talking about the impossible chicken. <sighs> I hear they got a chicken lo mein, an orange chicken lo mein. And then I hear they got a rosa chicken, which is supposed to be some kind of spicy garlic, but it's supposed to be impossible chicken on both these. We're gonna find out today. Enough talking, I'm hungry. Let's get started. Mostly healthy food reviews, let's go.
All right, ladies and gentlemen, there you have it. This is Noodles and Company. I just had their linguine rosa with impossible chicken. Man, that was good. Oh, that was good. On top of it, I actually had their orange chicken lo mein with impossible chicken. No, oh, that was even better. Oh, oh my goodness. All right. Let me see if I could piece these together for you. First of all, you get lo mein. The first one I actually had was the lo mein, right? So Noodles & Company is a company that basically sells noodles. Exactly like the name says. It's a, it's a, it's a perfect little idea. So whoever came up with this is a marketing genius. Noodles, who doesn't love noodles? You get noodles, all types of noodles. You could do proteins and everything else. But here's the thing. They have a lot of impossible chickens and meats and proteins and stuff on the menu, which is what attracted my attention because I'm trying to eat healthier. So I said, you know what? Let me check them out. Let me see if they're actually flavorful. And these things are banging. They're packed with flavor. So I got two little bowls. The bowls themselves were like 10, maybe $11 each. As you see, a bottle of water, I spent like $22, $23 for everything. The first one I tried was the orange chicken. These are both impossible chicken, by the way. So they basically take the impossible chicken nuggets, cut them in half, throw them over their pasta. So you get orange chicken because it comes with the orange dressing and then it comes with the lo mein. Yup. I agree with it. Oh, that was a good one. If you want Chinese, this is exactly what you need in your life. The orange chicken from Noodles and Company. Oh, this was good. Let me really quickly give it a score, then I'll get on to the next one. I'm going with a straight nine on this one. I'm going with a straight nine. That's it. That's my final answer. This was perfect. This is exactly what I would want because it's light as far as the crunchiness and the flavor of the orange chicken. And then, of course, you get the noodles on top. Everything was extremely flavorful. Like, start to finish, every bite had flavor that was just hitting me in the jaw. Oh, that was good. Up next, <laughs> I had the linguine. And there's a play on words on this one. This is how it looks. Lean guini. Now, keep in mind, I have an accent, so you're going to hear it come out of me differently. I say linguine. Linguini. All right. The thing is, it had the spicy sauce on it, the impossible chicken. You had the tomato, roasted tomatoes, the onions. But here's the thing. It actually came with mushrooms on top of it. Straight mushrooms. Woo! Man, that pushed me over the top. It definitely pushed me over the top. Light, crispy. Just the, the flavors on this one. Wait. I don't want to get hit on this side of the mouth anymore. So it started hitting me on this side of the mouth. <laughs> I'm just saying, oh, that was a good one. And on top of it, you get veggies in it. Why not? I love it. Let's give it a score. Linguini Rosa. I'm going a straight 10. I'm going a straight 10 on this one. I'd recommend both these dishes to you. I would definitely come back out here again to get them again. Bridgeport, y'all need a noodles and company somewhere in the area. Fairfield, Bridgeport, Southport, y'all figure it out. I'm going to go back home now and reheat up my food, which I never do. And I'm going to enjoy my food this afternoon. Ooh, good stuff. Ladies and gentlemen, if you like the videos that I do, do me a favor, click subscribe, turn notifications on, that way you get the videos when I drop them. Mondays and Fridays, 6 p.m. Eastern Standard, during the week as time permits. I drop my videos Monday through Fridays, 6 p.m. Eastern Standard, and during the week, like I said, as time permits. In case you didn't hear me the first time. <laughs> and once again, this is Claude, Mostly Healthy Food Reviews. YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, TikTok, Newsbreak. I'm on all social media platforms. If there's a health bonus to my food, it's an added bonus. Noodles and Company, definitely like what you guys are doing. Definitely love the flavors of the food. Woo! I would definitely come back and get them again. Oh, this was definitely a good lunch. In the case, let me get up out of here. Y'all be cool on the other side of the pillow. Take off. Talk to y'all next time.